It at least has an OPG. It doesn't say an OPG. It's a pro. It was on the other side. I went OPGG first because I was looking at this, and then I like searched his name on on Deep Lol, and then found it. Man, so tragic. What was N99? I've only played one game against N99, and it was uh. This one. This game. I uh, I think I recorded it last night. It was like 2 a.m. Right? How fucking late was it? one? Two ten a.m. Bro, I stayed up hella late. This is my last game before I got off. That means the game started at 2.10 by the way, and it lasted for so long. So I think I went to bed at like 3. Right? That's what it means. But yeah, I think I recorded this game. Yeah, no, I did. So it'll be on my second channel, I think. I was doing like an informative thing. Maybe it actually won't be. Maybe it'll be on my main channel, because I wasn't too informative. I was just like gaming. I was like sleepy. Yeah, his account is literally Zed only. It's so funny. He's not he's not having fun in his recent games, bro. I think everyone's in loser's queue. I think for a lot of, for a lot of the assassin players in Korea, since assassins are gen just generally like in mid lane, they're not that good. Uh unless you can play off your team like Zed Katarina. It's like, you play off your teammates. I'm gonna go bone point this game, not second wins. So it's like, you'll see some games like these fucking KDAs, and other games like normal KDAs, because it's just like, you can't do shit. It's the same thing with my OPGG, bro. If you like, filter it to Katarina only. Some games I get like 14 kills, MVP. Look at this. Other games I just don't get to do anything. And every single time I don't get to do anything, it's always like someone hard inting, and I'm versing a matchup I can't really punish. Look. <laughs> All you can do is just play consistently and then hope that you get lucky. Like, I went on a fucking luck streak three days ago. My teammates were... Popping off every game. ADC winning. Uh, oh, jung kind of off here. Jungle it's winning. The the fucking show, with my balling winning too. Their Syndra, Syndra Leona. My top was pressuring this game. Fucking me and P Zang. I had P Zang on my team. I haven't played against them. But yeah, this is P Zang. Uh, this is the only account I know of his. We stomped the game together. Winning bot, winning mid. This game, everyone's winning. This game, everyone's winning again. This game, I'm winning. I mean... They're all winning. They helped me. I remember I fucking popped off this game because they came mid. And it's like, it's just luck streaks, bro. Like, this server's all luck. You play consistently. Like, I can assure you, I didn't play any better in these games than I did in these games. Or these games. I, no difference in my gameplay. I'm still, I'm still playing the same way I am in mid. I'm still solo killing my laners at times, but it's just, you can't, you can't carry some games, bro. It's just how it is. Look, 26, some, sometimes you have a 26-0 game, and the one before that, I'm 1-3-0. Because I, I don't know, can't do shit. The server's all luck, bro. Prove, like, you can't tell me otherwise. You can play consistently, but it's all luck in the end. I refuse to believe otherwise. Isn't NA also pretty coin flip? Uh, no, not... Well, okay, in a way, yes. But it's also different. It's different because in NA, no one's good on the enemy team. Ever. Like, rarely ever. So, like, yeah, you'll lose games. But a lot of time, everyone just sucks. So it's like, even if uh, it's coin flip and bad, then... This guy does not want us to fucking go top. But on this server, it's like... If they have like a fed Samira and, and your fed is Katarina, like you're not winning the game. Because you already know for a fact that fed Samira is going to fucking 1v6 your team. 
But like if you're on NA and they have a 15 0 Samira, like you still think the game's winnable because it's probably gonna be like some some random like NA amateur Samira on like 80 ping. Right? But here you're versing like some insane fucking Samira one trick with like 65% win rate over a hundred games. Full tank Samira build, one shotting everyone, nine ping, spamming EQ. Perfect perfect use of the W, has exhaust, like you know, it's different. I mean, yeah, it's League of Legends, it's a team game in the end. That's why, I mean, most, like, as a, as a fucking assassin player, I guess all you can do is just be consistent, then eventually you just play off your team if, you, if they're good, but uh, a lot of time you can't. I mean, like I said, Katarina is a reactive character, not a uh, proactive. So you play off of what your teammates do. Even if you have 30 kills, you can't solo carry the game. It's not possible. But if you're playing something like fucking Graves and you have 30 kills, you can solo carry, right? Like, let's be honest here. I don't want to let him proc my bone pudding because I just want to go for a flip all in level 2. Literally, just coin flip all in level 2. I'm tired of hoping that my teammates are good. I'm going to flip a fight. He definitely has charm, or else he would have used Q already to try and proc my bone plating. Take my hand. Close your eyes. Oh, that's sad. He proc my bone playing with that last auto attack there. That whatever one it was. Frost block. Huge. Hey, stop blocking me. Oh, it's kind of off here. Enjoying the fucking show, but though. Take notes, kid. Take notes. Our bot is dead. Our 80s auto filled. Their balling is not going to stay, right? They're just going to push. No way they overstay here. Yeah. They're just making sure it crashes. Is Lichman Rush a thing? Uh, Kind of if you go electrocute, but not really at the same time because it doesn't do too much for you, I guess. Like, the only reason why you're able to win some matchups with Conqueror is just because of the Sunder Rush with, like, Sheen and everything, so... Like, Sunder is a massive spike for you, always. I'm not going to die to a room here. Ah, who plays this board? Was it Ari? Oh shit, the volley's here. How the fuck did Volley Bear get there? What? Wait, we have like full vision. Did I not see him cross this ward or something? Oh, he must have blast planted into Dragon Pit, right? And then walk out. That must have been it. Or am I just blind? Maybe I was looking at chat like the one split second he showed.
Now <laughs> you have four year old that just discovered the internet. Yo, man. <laughs> that was funny. Yo, I'm on my way, bots. The mid is unkillable now, ungankable. Are he's roaming top? It should be fine, it's okay. If anything, we just lose dragon here and I can't contest that. Just pushing the wave. I mean, we're definitely on the dragon, right? But I just have no wards, so. Like waiting. I just hover there just in case um, enemy balling like fights. Of course, they fight as soon as I show. Ari. That was a honestly not bad fight overall. I should have dodged the initial Nautilus hook. I don't know what's wrong with me. I couldn't shampo, I guess. I tried. Maybe I'm not fast enough. But works out hella there. Pick all this up. Conquer is too good to not use it? Yeah. I mean, Conquer just like turns fights around entirely. And for those who don't know, like you can use your ultimate to fully stack Conquer really fast, which you'll see me do a lot of the time. Like I'll just start my combo with my ulti. Even though this build is more so about shun pose with your Sunder, I uh, use my ulti to sack up Conqueror first. So we're getting 1v2'd bot as I 1v2 their mid jungle. Come on. Like, come on, guys. We can't be serious.
아군이 당했습니다. 아군이 당했습니다. 디멘스. 1v2 them from the dragon. Ours literally had to go merch as this game as well. Man, like there's so much random stuff going on. Oh, I have to go bot because they're gonna end. There's a pink here though that I want to be able to clear, but I just can't. And they have a ward there too. Oh. I just can't throw a bot either because yeah, they just die on random timers and they have perma vision. Do shit. I go bot. Can't even die, can you? My kindred took the kill on uh, MF before I could even get an assist. Wow, bot diff. Bot gap. Right? Good shot. Bot gap. Pog. Well, at least my jungler is like good this game. 
you know, if we didn't have a good jungle, then we definitely would not be where we're at, where we're at right now. You are not taking mid, brother. You're the most worthless player. Sorry. Bro got the confidence from like me and jungle coming bots to think that like he's strong enough now to lane mid. Like go back to your fucking side lane, bro, and catch that wave, okay? Be a good boy. Just take Q. Come on. Let your mid jungle take over the game still. Interesting. So I have to go top now, okay. Jora won't solo kill me, guys. Actually, he won't. Yeah, I read chat, I got annoyed, so I played a one minute ad, I'm sorry. So, it is what it is. Taking the hex with yeah, I'll be here faster. Get your ulti on my way, I'm almost here. I definitely just killed her MF. This guy is just walking. Nice. The ignite finished him off. He has no he had no heal there, so I knew he was gonna die to ignite. I, I saw him use his heal uh, before I went for the fight, but yeah, he just flashes out. Luckily, we got enough damage off before uh, he was able to flash out. Majais. Well, Sian Inkstone, you don't know what the Korean server is, man, like, apparently. Yes, you would think, you would think that a Zaya that has ulti and flash available would not get in range of, uh, like, the Nautilus hook, but it's, uh, it's Korea GM Challenger, that's what you don't understand. 
So in the Zaya's head, if he's not hitting the Nautilus, he's not playing well. So he has to hit the Nautilus if his Nautilus is on his screen, so... WTF? No fucking way they went for that. There's one a battle. <laughs> I'm just baiting. They can't do anything, man. Oh, I actually got hit by that hook, bro. Fuck. You guys ever see the uh, volley bear? You guys see how the volley bear ult like fucks your FPS? I'm not saying that's the reason I died there. Nice. Uh, I tried to. I saw the hook coming. That's why I tried to shumpo here so that my Rengar would take it, or we both dodge it. But the fucking edge of it still, still snagged me, man. That's so sad. I think I have to build Zonya's next. <laughs> Run. Oh, our kindred failed his pop over the wall. Dude, I keep not taking these. They're so OP. My God. Dude, my FPS is going shit too. Why did my Zai zone him, by the way? Kadawina said you were better than. Thank you for letting me know, man. One health? You're telling me one health is the difference between me getting a quadra kill there and me dying. Whatever, they still win. I couldn't even auto him, bro, at the end. I tried to. Kind of off here? Oh, sad. The fucking show, bucko? Take notes, kid. Take notes. Hmm. We'll combo him. Didn't die. I used my Sunder, I think, three times on him there as well. Well, we have Zonya soon. And what? I guess I should have instant on this. I didn't know MF was there. I actually should have just instant on it. Bro, if I can sprint it up and just hit R. Did you? 
Loose streak? Yeah, I went on a loose streak earlier. Not much we could have done, no. Every game was unlucky. It's okay. It's in the past. We move forward. Maybe my client will load. Let's go. Kindred obviously did the most damage. Kindred with lethal tempo and uh, Kraken Slayer. Probably cut down as well into all these characters, so. But yeah, we did a lot of damage. Still. Their mid laner, probably autofilled if I had to guess. Not okay. Uh, that's now I feel like an asshole. <laughs>